Hi, welcome to Uncle Tim's Farm. I'm Uncle Tim, and today I'm going to be having a cook-off between my charcoal and wood-burning vertical smoker and my electric smoker. For the cook, I'm going to be using St. Louis-style pork ribs. I've got the charcoal and hickory chunks lit, and I've added hickory chips to the electric smoker, and it has been turned on to heat up. And now it's time to get the ribs seasoned up. Of course, I'm going to be using my Uncle Tim's T13, which is available on my website, UncleTim'sFarm.com. I also have lots of other items available, like the shirt I'm wearing, multiple other t-shirts, caps, and all kinds of other apparel. Be sure to check that out. Alright, now that I've got those all seasoned and the smokers are up to temperature, which is 225, I'm going to go ahead and get the ribs loaded up and cooking. Nice and smoky in the charcoal smoker. Not quite as smoky in the electric smoker. Two hours into the cook and things are looking pretty good. Things are looking pretty good in the electric smoker too. It's been just over three hours and the ribs are feeling like they're ready to wrap. So I'm going to go ahead and pull them out and get them wrapped up and then stick them back in. I like to use the butcher paper to keep the meat from coming in direct contact with the foil, but then I like the foil because it helps hold in the moisture and catch the drippings so that I can add them back to the ribs later. So it's been just over two hours and these ribs are getting really close to being done. I'm gonna go ahead and get them unwrapped and then I'll stick them back in and let them cook until they reach the right consistency until they're just about to fall off the bone but not quite. You can see all of the drippings that would have been lost if I hadn't used the foil to catch them. This definitely helps keep the meat moister. So the ribs took about another hour to finish cooking and then I let them rest for an hour. This is the rib from the charcoal smoker as you can see it has good color, good bark. It's done just right. Looks really good. This rib is from the electric smoker and as you can see the color is not quite as dark as from the charcoal smoker. As I said at the beginning, these are St. Louis style ribs, and if you want to see how to get your ribs for half the price, there'll be a link in the description to a video I did on how to do that. Now it's time to cut these up and compare how they look, and most importantly, compare how they taste. As you can see, the rib on the left, which came out of the charcoal smoker, is a little bit darker than the rib that came out of the electric smoker. Just a little bit. Time to taste. I'll start off with the rib from the electric smoker. Hmm, hey, that's pretty good. Some nice smoke, nice and tender, good bite. That tastes good, but you notice there's not much of a smoke ring on that rib. The taste is fantastic though. Now for the rib from the charcoal smoker. Now that's a good smoky rib. Hmm. As you can see, it was so good I had to take two bites. And you can also see that there's definitely a smoke ring on that rib. So the ribs from the charcoal smoker were definitely smokier than the ribs from the electric smoker. Part of the problem may have been that I didn't use enough wood chips in the electric smoker or didn't add some in during the cook and the wood chips got burned up while it was heating up. 
So part of that could be my fault. So I may have to go back and do this experiment again to see if I can get a little more smoke flavor and a smoke, better smoke ring in the electric smoker. So what's my conclusion? Well, I definitely prefer the ribs from the charcoal smoker over the ribs from the electric smoker in this instance. But like I said, I'll have to go back and do this experiment again, see if I can get more smoke in the ribs from the electric smoker. Don't get me wrong, they were both good, but that little bit of extra smoke made the ones from the charcoal smoker that much better. Once again, thanks for joining me, and don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.